Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> Welcome back. Back with another HHN prediction. Actually, the first HHN prediction of 2020. You heard it here first. Um, I don't know if anyone else has been doing HHN predictions, so we I think we're the first channel, four channel, to probably be doing it. Wow. I don't know. There may be another channel that's probably done it, so if you guys did it, kudos to you guys. Um, and we waited until 2020. Yeah, last year when I did this, I did it in December, so I, I actually made, my, made sure I waited till 2020 to start predicting, because... Um, the reason why we're, we're starting predictions now because haunt conventions are going to be coming up. <coughs> and before you know they're going to be announcing them. Before you know they're going to be announcing them on uh, on Twitter. Murdy will probably be announcing the first either Scare Zone or Maze. And um, big thing going on in Orlando this year is it's going to be the 30th anniversary. Yeah. So they're going to be announcing some stuff. Guys, you guys don't know this, but our graphic design artist is working on a new Milosaur podcast logo over there. That had nothing to do with the video. Anyway, to do with the video. Um, to do with the video. The but time. today we're here to talk about HHN 2020 at Hollywood. Now, yeah. I, I want to record some East versus West with Eddie, so I got to get with him pretty soon mm -hmm. to do a speculation video with him. Yeah. Um, to see what he has to think for 2020 over there at Orlando, especially its 30th anniversary. Can I make my prediction about Orlando? What's up? Everything's going to be revolving around the icons. Yeah, I think so. I mean that's that's I think that's everyone's biggest speculation that they're going to bring back some of the greatest icons that they've ever had in the. I guarantee years. they bring back every icon. That's a lot of icons. Yeah, I know, but they're going to bring them all back in some way. Uh, we'll see. Maybe Easter eggs. Yeah, but maybe uh, a maze. That'd be cool. I'd like to try to go this year. That'd be cool. We'll see. Um, all right, let's talk 2020 HHN. So 2019 HHN. So yeah, so 2019 HHN, we you know we had Ghostbusters, we had Universal Monsters, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, we had Creep Show, we had Killer Clowns from Outer Space, we had Stranger Things season two, we had um, us, we had the Curse of Pandora's Box, we had Holidays in Hell, and we had House of a Thousand Corpses. Now that you just mentioned all those, I do have another one I'm gonna add to the list. Okay, um, I I have a bunch that I'm gonna uh, that I'm gonna save for future videos because I want. As time goes on, I want to see what comes up and what doesn't. So, um, if you guys want to kind of get like a little hint of what's going to be happening in 2020, follow John Murdy's personal account, John I think underscore Murdy, um, and he talks about him writing the mazes and stuff. He won't give away, of course, anything, of course, you know, to keep everything secretive because nothing's official till they obtain rights. Or if it's an original maze, yeah, you know, he he wants to surprise us um, with the success of. Curse of Pandora's Box and Holiday's Hell from last year, though, we can probably foresee the event maybe turning a new route of original mazes, hopefully, in the future. Um, I guarantee there'll be two. I'm thinking two originals, at least. This year? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Assuming they keep the same layout and they don't bring back the trap. Yeah. Uh, so we will see what happens with originals. Me, personally, I think they should do, and we talked to Sammy about this, half originals, half um, IPs. That'd be really sick. Because it gives them a more opportunity for creative purposes to come up with original ideas, you know what I mean? So, Definitely. Um, and Orlando is very famous for doing a lot of original uh, mazes yeah. over there, so, I, and I, a lot of the stuff they do is amazing, so. Um, so my first prediction for 2020 is the uh, 2020's Invisible Man by the Blumhouse uh, company. Yeah. Now Blumhouse is no uh, secret to HHN in the past. They've done Horrors of Blumhouse, they've done Horrors of Blumhouse Chapter 2, they've done Purge, and uh, they've done the first Purge, uh, they've done Purge Scare Zones, the Purge Gauntlet. Yeah. Um, so they've been at HHN in prior years. They are very good um, partner with uh, Halloween Horror Nights. Jason Blum's good friends with John Murdy and it's a universal company. Yeah. Therefore, rights are a little bit easier to obtain to these movies rather than a Warner Brothers picture or, you know, Sony yeah. or, so, you know, other companies. Was, wait, remind me this. Was Us Blumhouse? Yes. No, Us was not Blumhouse. It was... was Get Out was Blumhouse, though. Get Out was Blumhouse, yeah. but Us was still a universal movie. Yeah, okay. Um, so it was a little bit easier to obtain rights to that. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be predicting The Invisible Man, and that is due to the fact that this movie is, uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, I like the horror aspect they're going with it, yeah. and I can't wait to see what this movie has in store. Yeah. Um, so I'm very excited to see that, and uh, once I do see it, I can kind of come back and predict more about it. But from what I've seen in the trailer, um, I can see 
The the only my only issue with I think this being a maze was how they're gonna pull off the Invisible Man. Yeah. That's gonna be a little hard to do. So like I said, I have to see the movie first uh, to further more predict it. But I can potentially see it coming to the event this year. I'm gonna go in a different direction, but almost in the same direction. I'm gonna go Universal Monsters Part Three mm-hmm. because obviously they've done one and two in the last two years. Yeah. And those have found great success. Obviously, I think people. Are a little bit more fond of the original Universal Monsters. Yeah, but Frankenstein meets the Wolfman was pretty epic. It was good, and I wish I wish you could have seen the original. I wish I would have seen the original. It was such a phenomenal maze. I still think the original was great, but don't get me wrong, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman was fucking amazing. Yeah, I had an amazing time. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with the success of that. I would love to see them continue to dive in deeper with their own take on the Universal 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 Monsters, Monsters, and I want to see. The Invisible Man. Yeah, the original 1930s. Yeah, yeah 1930s yeah. Invisible Man. I would love to see them bring the creature in because they have never. Orlando got the creature. Yeah, um, and we did it. And, and from I, what I've heard from Eddie, like they had a boat on top, and it looked like when you looked up, it looked like you were underwater under the, under the, under the, the lagoon. lagoon. So that yeah. was really cool, and you got to see the creature a lot. So yeah. yeah, I would love to see like the first half being like the creature, and like the last half being uh, the Invisible Man, or vice versa. Oh, but there's one more monster. What you got? What you got? I want the mummy. Yeah, they didn't really touch too much on the mummy at all. Yeah. You saw he had a little section. Yeah. And that'd be a cool. So that could be a good little three-parter they can do. Yeah. Um, and Slash does phenomenal soundtracks for this. Definitely. So, so, of course, I would love to see Slash return yeah. to the uh, writer's chair to come up with new original music for this um, uh, for this maze because it's a freaking amazing concept for a maze. Yeah. And I, I can't wait to see what they have in store. It, I think it, it would cap off a perfect trilogy. Yeah. Um, and... Then they can move on to other things. Retire it, yeah, if yeah. they want to. Or if they want to bring it back for a fourth year and do the Phantom of the Opera, yeah. and the Hunchback of Notre Dame, they could. That would be really cool because then they could, they could stay in Europe. Yeah, so they have that whole Europe vibe. But uh, yeah, I would love to see uh, Universal Monsters 3, especially because I love the Invisible Man. The creature is such an amazing character too, and he's uh, out of the original Universal Monsters, he's the only one that's never been remade. Yeah, so uh, would, and he was the last one. And he was he the was last, the last one. Universal Monster. And so I would love to see a dark twist on that. Yeah. I could see Murdy coming up with like a really cool sculpt design for that. Um, the next one I want to talk about that you brought up, which it's something that I was thinking about too when I would go through the maze a lot because they played the soundtrack, and it was a scare zone yeah. at this past year in Orlando, which is uh, Rob Zombie's Hellbilly Deluxe. Yeah, I think that's, that's about, I was going to be my, um, my other one. That could be the return of music mazes. We haven't seen a music maze like with a band since Black Sabbath. Yeah. Um, and that was a phenomenal maze in my opinion. I because one, I'm a Black Sabbath fan. Yeah, and, and I think based on what I heard, I think Orlando people loved the Rob Zombie scary song. That yeah, because eventually what it came down to is it was a a lot of photo opportunities too yeah. to recreate a lot of his iconic albums or you know the songs and stuff yeah um and if you went to hhn 20 2019 in hollywood when you would wait in line for house of a thousand corpses you actually heard music from hellbilly deluxe playing over the pa um so that's why i think maybe rob zombie's hellbilly deluxe will be coming as an original maze uh this year at halloween horror nights in uh orlando and yeah. hollywood yeah. um and i would love to see them bring a lot of his iconic songs to life because yeah. You know, Living Dead Girl, um, Super Beast, Dracula, you know, those, yeah. just, just to name a couple. Yeah. Um, the, of course, the heavy hitter ones, but he bases a lot of his songs around monsters and, you know, like horror and stuff. So it would be, it would make yeah. for a great maze. Um, and they already have a relationship, obviously, built. With Rob Zombie. Yeah, they've done mm. House of a Thousand Corpses now. This is the third or fourth time they've done it. Yeah. So, I mean, Rob Zombie is obviously a fan of the event. And they keep bringing him stu- his stuff back, and I'm fine with it. I love Rob Zombie. He's one of my favorite artists and directors for horror. And, um, you know, Three from Hell. I love Three from Hell. That was yeah. awesome. You know, I love the, the whole Firefly trilogy. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I, even, I even... I liked his Halloween 2020... Or his Halloween remake. The first one, at least. Oh, yeah. I didn't like the second one too much, but... I like that, and, of course, um, yeah, he's I, he's good in my book. Yeah. You, you mentioned a, a very fun word to me. Which word is that? That was a Halloween. Halloween. That's my next prediction. Would Sorry be. about that. i got to hold my turn out to get scared. Championship. Championship. 2019. Thank you, you guys Will. Know. Thank you, Will. Um, 2018 Halloween is what I'm going to go uh, another prediction. Uh, I know Murdy has stated he wants to do them all. 
Yeah. We are going to be getting a new Halloween this year. This year, that's right. Uh, Halloween. And what better way to... Halloween Kills. Yes. Yeah, so what other, What better way to bring another Blumhouse film, considering he's, there's already a relationship with Blumhouse, Blumhouse yeah. um, to life, Yeah. Um, and to, you know, just continue the buzz. Definitely. Um, especially because a lot of fans have been wanting Halloween 2018 since it came out in theaters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the year it came out was they did Halloween 4, which was still a good Michael Myers vibe to get yeah. on, you know, just to get you pumped for that movie. Um, I also heard that Murdy wants to do all the Halloween films. Yeah, of so course. He stopped at 4, which brings me to my prediction, which is going to be Halloween 5. Now, um, Halloween 2018 is more than likely to come over Halloween 5. However, I'm predicting Halloween 5 because... Like Murdy said, he wants to do all the Halloween movies, and he stopped at four, so five would be the next in the in, in the installment of the franchise. So, yeah. uh, I would I would very much like to see him continue the route of doing all the Halloween films. Uh, and I've been fortunate enough to go through all the mazes that have been around. The only one, of course, they haven't done a maze of is Season of the Witch, and that's because it's, it's not Michael Myers. It's a, it was meant to be an anthology film, and. Yeah. I mean, the only cameo Michael Myers has in there is... One um, of the kids has his mask, right? No, I, I don't know about that. i got to double-check on that. But I know for sure another cameo that he has is uh, on the TV you see that they're, they're going to be screening Halloween on Halloween night yeah. as a movie. So it's established that in that universe it's just a movie. Yeah. Um, but in the past, in both the mazes that I have went through for 1 and 2, they have nodded mm -hmm. Easter eggs of the kids wearing masks and stuff like that for yeah. the season of the witch. Yeah. So. Uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, and then obviously in Halloween 2018, all the kids are wearing. Yeah, they're wearing the 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 season of the witch masks, yeah. which are really cool. But Halloween 2018 is more likely to come at the event this year rather than Halloween Five, in my opinion. Um, but never say never. Never say never. Yeah, I mean, I, and the only reason I'm saying that is because they will probably get a lot of people pumped for Halloween Kills. Yeah. Which will probably be coming out with an October release. So. Yeah. Um, what's your other predictions you got? I got a Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2. Now, yeah. with the success of Ghostbusters last year, which was, in my opinion, and I called it from the start, it was going to be an underdog maze. Yeah, it was a sleeper. A lot of people did have no faith in it because it was a comedy. Yes. And I, I went out, I love Ghostbusters, and I went out and said, this is going to be an underdog maze, this is going to be, I think it's going to be funny and have that horror element, yeah. and it did. It was a fantastic maze. I can definitely say it got me a few times with scares. On top of that, we had one of the best walkthroughs one of the closing yeah. weekends. So, I mean, yeah, I can't complain about this maze. It was great. It was awesome. We had an amazing time. Um, and I would love to see Ghostbusters 2. Yeah, I would love to see it too. Um, you know, it'll still be, like, that have a mixture of fun. Yeah. But also have the scare in it. And I think, you know, why not? Yeah, definitely. Well, I, you know, if it ain't broke, why fix it, right? Exactly. So, Ghostbusters 2 is... A uh, maybe. Um, I'm hoping that since Ghostbusters one did so well that he can bring Ghostbusters two to life, um, and I would love to see it. All right, I have one more. The final one. Go for it. Final one. And this is only because you listed all the mazes from this previous year, and it finally clicked in my head. We got to go back to Hawkins one more time. Stranger Things season, season three. Three. Yep. Now here's the thing. The season four is coming out this year, correct? Season four, I believe, is coming out this year. Yeah, I believe so. The only thing, my only problem with season three is the fact that I don't think season two did a lot good with a lot of people. Yes, but Orlando killed it. Killed it. Yeah. With season three, they had the amazing season three scene where you actually go into the mall and you see the mind flare. Yeah. Um, but over here in Hollywood, I'm gonna come out and say it. I didn't like it. I mean, we, we definitely both we, we voiced our opinion shared our about, it. about it. I mean, I, we didn't like it, and, um, it, it, you know, there's a lot of black walls into it, and, you know, there was a lot of missed opportunities from scenes they could have put in, um, and, I, and I hope if they, if they do decide to do season three... Um, they got to redeem themselves, I think. I think it'd be a good redemption, and there's a lot more to work with with season three. Uh, even, if the, even if the entire maze... Is just eleven breaking up with Will in front of the Star Court ball? That'd be great. I would be I would pay to so see that. happy. You know because I want to hear I say I dump your blank. Yeah. Um. So we'll we'll see. I mean, my hope, and I'm gonna come out and say this right now. This is another prediction. Hopefully, technically, my hopes is with the success of it this year that they bring back Killer Clowns and put it in that soundstage. That would be a dream come true. And bring that giant Clownzilla over from Orlando. 
yep. and put it in the maze and yeah. you know expand on scenes that they couldn't you know fit in that maze. However, that maze was a piece of art in my opinion, and they did a really good job summarizing the entire movie from start to finish in fucking five minutes. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot. We got way more predictions to come. I don't want to spill them all right now because. We won't have anything to predict later on. Yeah. Um, but what do you guys think? What are some of your predictions? Um, leave them down in the comments below. Um, a lot of the predictions we also mentioned on here were a lot of what uh, fans actually sent me on Instagram too. So if you heard your prediction, leave it down below. If you didn't, I will get to it the next video. Um, and be on the lookout because anything HHN related, anything Knots related, Queen Mary, LA Haunted Hayride, we will be here covering it all year long. There's other great channels too. So if you want to hear their opinions, I highly suggest you go check them out as well. Uh, yeah. Fractured Compass Productions, TLV Media. They got What's TLV Horror now? TLV Horror, you're right. TLV Horror. Um, SoCal Exploring's got some good opinions. Um, Edutainment out in the East Coast. Zombie Chris. Lodge, Lodge. TV. Yeah. All these amazing content creators. Uh, you know, JP Land's out there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many great content creators out here, so go ahead and you know hear their opinions as well. Mm -hmm. But... Thank you to all those people who uh, follow us and who love watching our content. And the next time we hear some HHN news, we will let you guys know. Um, don't forget to turn those bell notifications on. We'll see you in the next video. This message has been certified by Lee Champion. Bubbly. Bye-bye. Little bit of the... Bubbly.